Hey there everybody and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to do a five minute review of Bubble.io. So if you're looking at creating a web app without code, this is definitely a platform that you should take a look at. So going ahead and getting started, we're going to make this really, really quick. We'll cover features and pricing. So when you click on features, and I will log into my account shortly just to show you the interface, but you'll see this is building a web app without code. So at the time of filming this video, if I'm not mistaken, this is web apps only. So this is not something you're going to be able to create a native Android or iOS app. Again, that's at the time of filming. That could be something that changes down the road. So you'll see tons of different options. So this is a traditional WYSIWYG editor. So what you see is what you get. It's a drag and drop style interface where you pull your components from the left over to the middle and essentially build out your web app. Now there's a ton of really, really cool options. They have scaling, uh, they have hosted infrastructure. So you're basically going to be able to scale up if you have one user, 1000 or potentially 1 million. They have version control and backups, security, expanding options. Um, so they have like this engagement so you can grow your audience, process payments. And it's a really big platform for collaboration. Now I wanna show you pricing. And then I want to show you what you can actually do with this in their academy. So you have the annual, you have free, and then these three tiers. So you'll see you have core plus API, which is great if you want to use a database and store or send and receive information, email support, etc. And then professional and production are allowing you to have different units of server capacity, application editors, etc. So you can click the link in the description to bubble.io and learn more, um, then kind of check this out for yourself. And lastly, if you're wondering, what can I do with the platform? I mean, it's a web app. What is that? Well, there's a couple of different ways to think about it, but one way to think about it is, uh, let's just say something like Gmail. That is a mobile application for your phone, but you can actually go to the Google website and use it as essentially a web app. So it works as a fully functional application hosted on um, anywhere that's not your device is essentially the best way that I could word it. So let's look in their academy really quickly. And the idea about web apps is all of this information and all of the code and everything else is essentially going to be stored elsewhere. So you're not installing Gmail on your phone when you go to Gmail's website. You're actually just using everything through the website. So um, it, it's basically going to have tons of different advantages, as you could imagine. Now, the reason I go to their academy is you can see you can learn by building apps with point and click instructions. And then if you keep scrolling, you'll see that they have options to build Instagram, Eventbrite, and tons of other really, really big and popular websites. So these are essentially going to be your courses. So if you click this, you can see how to build an Instagram clone. And this is using Bubble. Now, it's not going to be easy, but they do have this step-by-step -step guide. So you can create your web app that's a clone of Instagram. And then lastly, what we'll do is we will essentially just jump in and show you the editor. So this is the editor itself. So as you can see, we have the design components. You would essentially just drag and drop. You have the ability to resize and then your settings over here. You do the same for all the other components. And then you have your styles your data, workflow, settings, etc. So there's a ton of different options. Again, I'm trying to keep this as high level as possible, but this just gives you an idea of what the editor looks like. So somewhat standard, um, but it has a ton of really cool options to allow you to center your components and resize and things of that nature. So it's a pretty cool interface. And honestly, it's a pretty affordable option as well. So you can check out their academy, see the things you can build. And if it matches up with your needs and your pricing, then it's something that may be worth considering. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.